Spider-Man for the PS4, uh, at the time of writing this, has been out for about four days and I've already beaten almost everything there is to do in the game. It, it really is that fun and I've just been hammering away at it. Uh, and so I feel like now I have a pretty good idea of what the different types of players are like when enjoying this game. Uh, I mean, like, I've played a lot, sure, but it's, it's not a super long game or anything. And I've had, I've had plenty of other things going on in my life. Like, I've been doing a lot of filming lately and, like, I stay pretty busy. It's just, you know, like, if I've got some free time, after the girlfriend and I grab some sushi, like, theoretically speaking, then yeah, like, I'll play some of this game. Women like me! Spider-Man for the PS4 is out, and I have a good idea of what the different types of players are like. So today, I will be listing the five types of player in Spider-Man. Let's get into it. Starting off with number five, we have the basic b as basic as they come, folks, nothing they do is remarkable. On their controller, if they look down, all they see is square, and that's the combat button. If you get into combat, you press that button, and then you press it again. You keep pressing it until everyone around you is dead. They have no idea what a combo is. You could look at them and say, a combo, and they'd say, who's that? I don't think I've fought him yet. No, in combat, you can get really creative with how you pair your attacks and, and your moves. Try hitting triangle. No, that's the interact button. I need to use combat button for this. Now, gadgets to them mean absolutely nothing. They'll never use any of them. I mean, they think a spider drone is just something fancy and probably needs resources to use. Resources that they most certainly do not have because they don't do anything other than the main story. Trip mine is just useless. They're never going to have the patience to study someone's movement pattern, throw it down, and then wait for them to step over it. No, you have to combat them instead, not trip them. I need my combat button. When they have the chance to go stealth, they immediately go loud and just run in head first. It's like, what's that? It's too much effort crawling around on the ceiling waiting for people to get out of the danger zone. And if by any chance they do happen to hit someone in the air, web sling them around and then throw them into another group of guys, they're like, Brian, you have to see what I just did, Brian! Number four, we have the overachiever. This person is going to experience everything they possibly can in this game and complete it with flying colors and a big fat ultimate score. It's possible they feel like if they don't complete everything, then they wouldn't actually have what it takes to be Spider-Man in the real world. Like if, if they got bit by a magic radioactive spider. You ever think about that? If you have what it takes to be Spider-Man? I know I could, because I like to sneak into people's ventilation systems. But could you? That's the question. Anyway, the overachiever is going to demolish every one of those little icons on their map. You should see them when they find out there are backpacks across the city that need to be collected. I mean, any normal person would be like, oh, okay, it's all over the place. If I get close to one of them in my travels, I'll just, you know, quickly pick it up. It's pretty simple. The overachiever is like, dude, I need to get all of these right now. I haven't even discovered the Upper West Side yet, but I'm there. I'm going. I seriously need these backpacks. It almost becomes OCD, it's like, I should probably get on with the main story, but that fist kite out is looking at me funny, man. It's gotta go! No, get off me! It's gotta go! Oh, and this person is really annoying because they're probably gonna unlock the underwear suit before all of us. Number three, we have the selfie Spidey. Any remotely interesting background could make the best selfie they have ever taken. I mean, this person only swings one-handed, so they can always have their camera out in the other. It's that bad. Now, this Peter Parker in this game, it's possibly the most millennial version of Spider-Man that we've ever seen, and it makes sense why. He needs to find a job. He's always late to things. He obsesses over how someone might interpret his text messages and he loves to take selfies, and the selfie Spidey takes full advantage of this. They like to take a picture of themselves on the Brooklyn Bridge, or on top of a ridge, inside of an alleyway, chasing down the getaway, in the middle of fighting a boss, on the sidewalk, stepping on a floss. Who's brushing their teeth out here, am I right? Who's, you idiot, it's dirty out here. Falling from the highest height, Taking a break during a fight. Swinging from the pub. Yeah, you get it, but I don't need to give myself more homework like picking up all these screenshots. Oh crap. <laughs> but sometimes selfie Spidey, he gets kind of weird, like kind of sick. Like when he throws up the peace sign in front of Uncle Ben's graveyard. That's, that, that's not right. 
Number two, we have the know-it-all. This person is better versed in Spider-Man than you are, and they have no problem telling you. They've read the comic books, they study the memes, they've played the previous games, and they've seen every Spider-Man movie from Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield to Tom Holland. And even though they do think that Tom is doing a great job as an actor right now, it was the first series that was the best because the villain was actually interesting, good job Willem Dafoe, and because Spider-Man still had powers without having to use his suit. At least I think this is like what they would say, something like that. If you're still not convinced that was the best one, they'll mention the director, Sam Raimi, and just keep saying the director's name, Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi, that because somehow they know more about him than you do, he must be a visionary god, and you're somehow incapable of seeing his true achievements as a director. Don't get into a, an argument like that with this person. Anyway, so when they're playing this game, and every time they're introduced to a familiar character, they're already predicting everything that's going to happen to that character. Uncle Ben, he's gonna die. I just know it. Oh, he's already dead. Called it! They are introduced to Norman Osborn after that. Oh, that guy is just itching to go all Green Goblin on me. He's so excited I can see the bulge in his pants. Just to the right of his heart on. I mean, it's gotta be a goblin grenade. You see that bulge? I just know it. Oh, he never becomes the Green Goblin. Yeah, figures. Probably waiting for a, a sequel to do that. Anyway, so Sam Raimi. And number one, we have... The Fashion Diva. This person is constantly changing their suit. They're really never happy with how they look. I mean, they go one, maybe two missions the most in something, but after that, gotta change it up, gotta switch it. They unlock the advanced suit, and it's like, oh, cool, the spider on my chest is now all white, and so are the tips of my hand. That's so cool, I don't think I've seen that before. And then it's like, wait, what? There's a noir suit? That's so cool, it's all black. Oh, I look like a 1950s spy. Wait, the Iron Spider suit is available? That's just like what Tony Stark gave Peter Parker in Infinity War when they're blasting up into- What? Spirit Spider? I got blue flames coming from my eyeballs, baby! I am death itself! I mean, fear itself, neon blue with extra damage output, get out of here! Mark III suit, oh! It's like Iron Man and Spider-Man had a baby. Oh. Meanwhile, every citizen down below is like, uh, I'm, I'm confused, are there ten of them? Or does he just have a shopping problem? And there you have it, the five types of player in Spider-Man. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, are there any other personalities you think I've missed? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have just a few more pigeons to catch, and then I've cleared my map. So, better get on with it.